Lake Superior Zoo held its annual meeting last night as the zoo's board reviewed the accomplishments of the past year. The zoo has come a long way since the devastating flood of 2012 and it has more goals ahead for 2023. Here to tell us more is Haley Hedstrom, Lake Superior Zoo's Chief Executive Officer, and Joey Engseth is the chair of the Lake Superior Zoo Board of Directors. Ladies, thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, thank thanks you. for having us. The having zoo that. is so beloved in this community. <laughs> just had your annual meeting what are the high the high points coming off of 2022 what was accomplished in the last year sure you know as we go into our hundredth year it is our hundred year anniversary this year yeah. we look back to last year and it was really our accreditation by the association of zoos and aquariums that yeah. was our biggest accomplishment and it was quite interesting a long journey um, but you know as we look at being the only accredited facility here in Duluth and one of three in Minnesota we hold that gold standard of animal care and welfare and that guides every decision we make. Mm -hmm. What goes into that accreditation process? Oh. Like what are, I, I mean the, yes. the cliff notes. Yes okay yes to keep it short uh, there is an application that's about 30 pages mm -hmm. and three to four hundred pages of documents submitted and a three-day on-site inspection as well as a hearing that we go to at the annual AZ conference so it's a couple of years preparation a lot of work and a lot of investing money in revitalizing and keeping the zoo a great place for everyone and mm -hmm. the animals of course mm -hmm. Joey the Lake Superior Zoo is the 19th oldest zoo in the United States that's remarkable talk to us a little bit about the rich history of the Duluth Zoo yeah I mean it's as you said it's the 19th oldest and uh, we're just so proud that it's uh, it's based right here in Duluth and at the tip of Lake Superior uh, the community has been so great in uh, coming to support the zoo over our 99 uh, long years here, and uh, we're just continue. We're excited to continue to move forward. Mm -hmm. Well, now that we have the nuts and bolts out of the way, what people really <laughs> want to hear about red pandas. Red pandas. Red pandas. <laughs> I know. It, it makes me want to jump up and yell. Uh, you know, as we look at, uh, we fundraised for this exhibit last year. We've raised almost sixty thousand dollars. We started construction, uh, partnering with the city of Duluth and other local vendors, and we're looking forward to next month finding out who exactly will be joining us and getting that exhibit open this spring. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. What will that exhibit be like? What, what's included in it? Either one of you. Yeah, I can take that. Yeah. Uh, you know, as we look at it, we want to make it natural, a great habitat for these two red pandas, which are critically endangered. Uh -huh. You know, as we look at being a part of the Species Survival Plan program, we not only want to provide a great space and a great exhibit for people to see, but of course for those red pandas. We're also going to have spaces for people to take behind the scenes tours. They're going to be able to feed red pandas right here in Duluth. Wonderful. Wow. A bit of sad news too from the zoo, the polar bear Berlin. Uh, who was a zoo resident many, many years ago, mm -hmm. just recently passed away in Kansas City, age, uh, what, 33. How popular was Berlin at the zoo? Oh, oh I'll, I'll take that one. one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Berlin and Bubba, her, yeah, her two, brother, two yes, bears, they, yeah. were, they were so popular. Being a Duluth native, we went to the zoo all the time, and that's what I picture when I think of the zoo of the 90s. Uh, the two Bubba and Berlin bears uh, and their big red ball <laughs> and throwing the ball back and forth and them jump, jumping off their rock into the water. Those are my fondest sure. memories and, and the community shared uh, plenty of their favorite memories on Facebook. Oh, so that's wonderful. That Were you great. surprised at the outpouring of uh, love for Berlin? I wouldn't say surprised. I'm just so humbled and thankful mm -hmm. that so many people connected with an animal and that's what, you know, zoos are here for. We are not only conservation organizations, but we're here to connect people with animals to foster that empathy so sure. they care more about the animals here and around the world. So how many animals do you have at the zoo? We have over 300. Over 300. Yes, 140 mm. species. So there's, you know, there's a few stick bugs in there as well, but <laughs> uh, you know, our, our most famous right now, Tundra and Banks are brown bears. Those, those are the biggest ones at this Wonderful. point. We only have about 15 more seconds, but other new things coming up this year? That, uh, Ooh, we have our trail project, yes. uh, which yeah. will connect the Australia side of the zoo across Kingsbury Creek. Um, mm -hmm. And then just you'll have to come and come and see for yourself, right? <laughs> there it is. All right, that's a perfect 15 second answer. Thank you, <laughs> Thank so, you very so much. much. Thank, Thank you, you for having me. Right. <laughs>